So I've been working out in the garage trying to solve one of my issues for my new upcoming build and I built this thing. Um, it isn't the final product. I still have to take it back apart, clean it up, spray paint it, do all that. I got a new piece of acrylic instead of this one that's all scratched up. Um, but basically what it is is I have a, a radiator and this will sit like so. Right? And then you take your reservoir and point. There it goes. So now you have it mounted to your reservoir or your reservoir mounted to the radiator, which is exactly what I needed. Pretty cool, right? I thought so. So, our PEG tubing has arrived today. This is uh, our new tubing that we're going to be using for the new build. Um, it's the same tubing color. It's a nice clear blue color. You can see it. It looks good. I like it. Yep. I can't wait to get building. I've been waiting for this stuff to come in. This right here was 35 bucks for this box. That's not too bad, 35 bucks. Nah, not bad at all. Ah, lovely. Our new flow meter has arrived. Excellent. It's identical to the one that I had in the Gamma build. One side is red, and then the other side is blue. And it has three, three ports, I think. One, two. Yeah, and there's a third one on the top. This was only about 12, 13 bucks. But it's very good quality. I've bought four or five of these and I've never had one fail. Never had one leak. I've never really had a problem with any of them. Cool. All right, back to the video. Boy, this video is just a hodgepodge of things that I have gotten. I swear. Um, I had to get a new display cable. So here's a 10 foot 1.4 display cable, which. That was definitely something we needed. I got this, check this out. This is a universal um, laptop charger. So it claims to be a universal laptop charger. Um, and it, it wasn't very much, it was like $8. And I went to this store called Ollie's. Never been there before, but they had a really nice electronic section. I actually got all this stuff out of the electronic section. Um, I needed some new light bulbs, so duh, got new light bulbs. Moving on, this is pretty cool. These are extension cord. Uh, they're like these covers form. They're waterproof and stuff. I use them for the shed and other places and they work fantastic. So I actually bought two boxes of this. Each box comes with two, so I got four of them just for a later date. And then I got some, this is upholstery spray you know like uh when the when the roof in your car starts to like droop down or come undone this is what you use to glue that back together and then moving on to the next one let's see here these are pretty cool these are stand up led lights and i'm going to show you what they look like right now can you guys see them they're all plugged in check it out Cool, right? They turn different colors. They can be mounted either way. You can mount them like laying down, like sitting down like this, or you can mount them like that, like the way I have them. But these would be great to add an effect, like on a computer case or any kind of shop that I'm trying to take and I want a little background drop in it. That's what these will do for me. And the remote control which is pretty cool that's yellow red blue green purple yeah they look great i actually bought four of these so these are the first two that i got and then i just pulled the other two out of the box so now i have four of these and they're usb 5 volts that's really cool too it comes with like a five foot cord on them too so you have plenty of room to maneuver them awesome see there really ain't much to them so it's just plastic they're super lightweight 
and there's the USB cord in the back but I really like them I think they're great okay moving on and then in here I got a ha this is a 10 foot extension cord um, has three it's perfect for what I need and I actually bought two of these Here, I actually bought two of those cords. Here's here it is here. Um, the other one that I bought all pulled out it has a really nice long flat braided black cord to it, and a couple things like that. And what's in here? Oh yeah, this is the other. Remember I said I bought two of them. Well, there you go. I bought two of these. These are actually really cool. You want to see what they look like? Um, maybe I should go outside and show you where I used them on the shed that I just built and wired up. I had everything plugged into it and stuff. Uh, the cords and the cables and everything that runs to it. Let me see if I can open it. There you go. See? That's what it looks like. Nothing too fantastico. And it just opens up. And then you put the cord in there and then you clamp it. And then this part right here, that's the door to it. That's what actually latches it shut. So I got four of them now. So let's go outside real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there you have it. You can see right there where I wired in that light. Well, it looked like crap with that being there, you, with it being exposed. So I put that on it and it looks great. And then same with this one. I had to run power into my new shed that I just built, see? my new shed and if you look over here there's a light switch so check this out watch Ta -da. now I have lights everywhere so I just installed this yesterday me and my dad have been building this shed I don't know for the last two weeks now mainly because we've had to work every day but I finally got my shed built and I got it put up so it's it's going we had to build the foundation level it out build the platform I mean it, it was a process and stuff but yeah that's what those electrical capsule extension cord cap things look like you know they were such great use I thought well hell I need to get some more of them before they just quit selling them and I just installed that too I dug a hole put the concrete in put the posts up and then bought and installed and wire that light up so that way my shed will have a light on it you see looks good right still got a little more work to do but yeah yesterday when I was there um, see I went there yesterday and today I bought this also this was eight dollars it has a 3000 joule protection on it okay they swivel see that they swivel close which is a nice feature and it has USBs at the top right and it's nice long black power cord and it's ground or power strip and it's grounded so I had to get one of them try that again it's a 25 foot HDMI cable um, which is exactly what I needed to reach so I picked one of those up and I only paid ten dollars for it which that's not a bad deal and before that we have started on the machine I'm still trying to come up with the name of it I'm not exactly sure I've landed on Titan rig stealth engine uh, I don't know there's not sure of a name if you guys can think of a name uh, definitely give me one in the comments if you got a name for it uh, the next step is just trying to get it together you know how that goes um, here we've painted the the freeze mod thing black to match and we got our power supply just a couple of little details put in and then we did get our power switch installed see that I installed our pretty power switch it's gonna it's gonna be awesome I can't wait boy this video is just a random mix of things that I've got and things that I'm doing all right so that's that it's pretty 
and it's going to be badass when it's done. Also, I wanted to add it this. Check this out. I want it to have my hard drives on my new computer. But I was thinking, you know, I have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C uh, port on the motherboard. And I was thinking about getting, well, a... Um, a flash drive for it right and I didn't want a USB one because that's not fast enough I wanted something that was more modern more up-to-date and a little bit faster so I bought this this is the PN PNY elite 128 gigabyte USB 3.1 gen 1 type C flash drive when I'm editing and I'm doing things um, I save a lot of pictures and a lot of thumbnails and a lot of other things and I don't want that to tie up my my drives on my new computer so I got this right here I mean it's cheaper than an SSD it's not as quiet as fast as an SSD but a lot of the times when I take pictures or I do filming um, it just so happens to be on my phone and my phone is an LG Stylo 5 and it's a USB type C port so I can take the drive out plug it straight into my phone take the pictures off my phone put it on the drive and then I can unplug the drive and plug it right into my computer no more having to plug a cable in to the computer to my phone and then giving my phone permission for the computer to copy the photos you know what I mean I don't have to go through none of that with this but I just wanted to show you guys this in case you were interested in something like this make sure to subscribe and leave a like thank you for watching and as always you guys be cool and I'll see y'all next time